afternoon. So let's break down this forecast for you. Better news is I was looking at model information this morning. It's looking like it's not going to be a total washout this evening. As you're looking at that hour by hour notice that as we get into the four and five o'clock hour rain chances drop off slightly. I think you're going to notice rain chances are a bit more scattered. It's still not going to be pretty out there. It's going to be gray and be prepared for damp conditions. I think the yards are just going to be soaked. Temperature wise, things are looking pretty good. Temperature is pretty typical for this time of year. We're going to make it into the low 60s. Most trick or treats for our area start around at 6 o'clock, we'll notice that rain chances again dropping off slightly as we go into the 7 and 8 o'clock hour temperatures will be dropping back into the upper 50s. Last year it was a very chilly trick or treat night. Tonight the cold isn't going to be the big story. It's the wet yards. Kids will want their rain boots. Be prepared for soak shoes and again have that umbrella handy as you're out and about for trick or treat this evening. Roads are going to be wet. There's going to be a lot of traffic in the neighborhoods coming up in just about 30 minutes. You'll hear from a local police officer about his warning for parents, drivers and those trick or treaters. That's coming up in just a bit out live outside. Alex George first news this morning.